We've all heard of the risks of illegal drugs, but now there's a new threat, legal synthetic drugs, which mimic the effects of their contraband cousins. A new report shows manufacturing of the dangerous substances has doubled in just two years. It's left police, doctors and politicians struggling to keep up with the booming trade. This musician says synthetic marijuana has given him such bad reactions that he's had hallucinations. I don't think that we should be selling this to 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds, 17-year-olds, 18-year-olds um, because there's a lack of understanding of dosage. Smokers don't know what they're inhaling because the ingredients aren't required to be identified on packaging. During intoxication people might become psychotic or very paranoid, so some of those marked kind of presentations, but we're also concerned about increasing reports of cardiac or heart effects. Newcastle State MP Tim Owen is behind a push to introduce national legislation outlawing these drugs. In mid-2011, a synthetic drug called Chronic was made illegal, but since then, hundreds more varieties have emerged on the market. But at the moment, you only have to change them a small, in a small molecular way and they then become legal again. These things are moving very quickly. The law is not made to move that quickly. And now uh, we're trying to get a, a, a jurisdictional response that's going to be uniform across Australia. Police are monitoring a New Zealand trial where the onus is on manufacturers and not the government to ensure a product's safety. This synthetic marijuana was purchased here at this tobacconist in the middle of Sydney at just $35 for one and a half grams. It was clearly on display at the counter. It's marketed as herbal incense and it's all legal. We have reason to believe that it is more damaging than botanical cannabis. The Australian Drug Foundation has seen a boom in the synthetic trade. At our cannabis clinics here in New South Wales, we're now seeing on average 30% of their clients report using this group of drugs. Emergency departments have just started recording the number of people presenting after using synthetic cannabis. Michelle Rafferty, ABC News.